All right, what's up, everyone? We've got a Wii knife to talk about today. And this was loaned in from Alicord Paracord, Alice. Um, super cool lady. She does a lot of Paracord stuff. She's done some stuff for me. I had my um, iPhone charging cords. I had her wrap a couple of those for me. And some... Um, She's donated some keychain things and zipper poles and stuff like that. Anyway, she does a bunch of paracord stuff. If you are inclined and need any paracord stuff, go check her out. I'll put a link uh, to her Instagram down below as well. That's the easiest way to get a hold of her. But anyway, she loaned in this Wee Knife Ziphius, I think is how you pronounce it, which is actually pretty cool. It's a button lock, which are not my favorite, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, but what's really cool is they call this an integrated backspacer. Uh, I don't know. Okay. So basically, it is a... Think of the, of the backspacer as a taco shell. And then you have each side of the scales. Let's zoom back out a little bit here. Each of the scales are separate. So it's a three pieces. So you've got the left side, right side, and this taco as the construction of the scales. Unique. Not the first time I've ever seen anything like this, but it is unusual, uncommon to see this type of a backspacer. So this is just um, heat-treated titanium. So it's not Timascus or anything like that. It's just titanium that's been heat anode. And I think it looks great. It is a different construction, but it, it works. They also did the same heat anode titanium pivot collars to kind of pull that in, which I like. And then gold bronze-ish hardware with this gold bronze pinstriping. I think it looks really great. And it's got a very cool two-tone blade. CPM 20 CV, satin flats, DLC coated on the blade, DLC coated titanium um, scales. I think it's great in those regards. It feels really good in the hand. It is a button lock. Button locks aren't my favorite. Typically on a button lock, the detent is going to be a little bit weaker just because of the construction of that style lock. So you don't get that rapid rocket fire that you would get on some other traditional detent style knives. Um, with a thumb stud though, it works great. Again, this blade shape, I'm kind of warming up to over the years. Kind of the Warren Cliff-ish blade and uh, there's a lot of utilitarian uses for that. And I'm kind of starting to not prefer these, but I'm starting to like them more than I have in the past, if that makes sense. So the button locks are cool because they are super fidgety. Um, you just have to kind of get the timing down with each knife. This does run on bearings, so it is super smooth and actually pretty controllable, not really drop shut. So some specs on this, it's five inches closed. 8 and 5 eighths overall, 3.62 blade, 3.25 cutting edge, 0 0.015 behind the edge, blade thickness of 0 0.123, CPM 20 CV as I mentioned. Uh, overall thickness is 0.479, also runs on bearings as I mentioned, as most Wii knives do, uh, and weighs in at 4.8 ounces. This one actually works great in the pocket. I think the pocket clip construction is very nice. It works well inserting and deploying from the pocket. You do have a lanyard hole here if you are so inclined to use a lanyard or a doodad as uh, Beard of Doom calls it. And speaking of beard, I do have one knife that has a lanyard or a doodad that Beard of Doom actually made for me. Partially because as this is in its sheath, there was very little to grab onto to, to deploy it. Now I can just kind of grab by the lanyard, 
and pull it out and it works a lot better. So there are times where a lanyard is useful. I am not a big lanyard person. I'm sorry, Allie, because she makes lanyards, right? So <laughs> here I am kind of talking crap about it when she loaned this in. I, I apologize for that. Um, I don't like the little lanyard hanging out of my pocket with a bead on it and all that stuff. That's just not for me. If it's for you, awesome. My older brother used to hate lanyards, and then all of a sudden he's like tying some of his own now, and I think most all of his knives... Well, I don't know about all of but he has a number of knives that have lanyards on them now. So we all change and evolve. I used to be into the really big overbuilt knives. I still have a few, much like I think I would consider the double homicide an overbuilt knife. So I still have a few, but they're not my main carry anymore. I've kind of scaled down and carry more reasonable knives, if you will, these days. So we can all evolve and grow in the hobby. And I think that's a great thing to do. So yes, this is a limited run. I believe they are, look on the box here, there was only 310 of these particular knives made. And I don't know, I'd have to look through all the paperwork to see if there's actually a number. I don't think there's numbers on the actual knife to tell not that i see there is some uh, deep milling over here in this area to help with the weight um but yeah 310 so i like limited runs um i don't know that every knife company needs to do limited run after limited run after limited run that starts to get a little bit monotonous uh, okay when everything's a limited run Eh, you know, kind of detracts from things, I think, in general. So here it is next to Spyderco Delica for some size comparison. Your standard Sharpie. How about your D-cell battery that weighs in at five ounces? Um, and how about the VC Edge interface number 80? Because it's a good size comparison. It's kind of that dark mode with a two-tone blade. Like, it's kind of similar way different pricing, um, way different construction, way different everything, but similar in the looks department. So there you go. Ali, thank you so very much for sending this in. Actually, it came from Tri-State EDC. He had it first, then he sent it to me, and then I am going to send it back to her uh, in just a couple of days because I have one more from her to film, and then I can get these shipped back to her and uh, yeah, there you go. Trying to catch up still from my vacation. I got a little bit behind when I got back. Uh, so I have a pile of stuff here to still film and still unbox and whatnot. It's just kind of easing back into it from my vacation. So there you go. Sorry for the delay, Ali, but I appreciate it. And thank you all for watching. I think I have a wee playlist I'll put up in the corner or down below. You guys know how to do it. There you go. Thanks, guys.